Hey guys, uh, welcome to your love reading for Scorpio. Uh, this is going to be for your January 2023. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Why did they do this to you? So we're going to take a look at someone that you are currently dealing with or have dealt with. We're going to see what this uh, what this person did to you and why this person did this to you. Uh, even though this is love focused, this could be with anybody. So uh, these are, this is a reading for the Scorpio individuals that are like kind of searching for answers or closure regarding someone that's not really, you know, giving it to you. So uh, apply this to your own unique situation, switch the rules if you want. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements if you guys haven't uh, done so yet. Hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Uh, what else? Give this video a thumbs up. Like this video. Share this video. Leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Scorpio people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. So if you're looking for a reading tailored to your specific unique situations and your energies, I suggest you book a private personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. All right. So tell me about Scorpio here. The person that Scorpio is dealing with or was dealing with. What did this person do to Scorpio? What did this person do to Scorpio for January 2023? Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs for Scorpio. All right. Let's see. All right, we have the Eight of Cups here and uh, Judgment. Seems like they made a, a decision here to walk away because I feel like whoever this is, I feel like this person couldn't emotionally invest, in, in, invest into this connection. Someone here had a major aha moment in awakening surrounding this connection here, okay? Uh, we have the Two of Pentacles here and the Ten of Pentacles. Someone here could have juggled you here. Okay, someone here could have been juggled. Okay, the Knight, uh, uh, the Page of Pentacles here and the Tower here. Wow. Whoever this is, I feel like this person definitely dropped a bombshell here that really shocked you. You know, it seemed like it could have been a situation where, yeah, maybe someone here made a life-changing decision to be with you, but it just seemed like this person wasn't emotionally invested here. Okay, it seems like they made promises that they didn't keep here. Okay, um... It could have been that there were someone there. There could have been someone else here, especially with the two of pentacles here, the page of pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, the Tower, Aries, Scorpio, and the uh, Judgment card, Sagittarius energy. Why is this Eight of Cups here? Wow, we have the Devil here, the uh, Judgment card, and the Nine of Cups here. You know, I feel like one of the things I feel like you know this person could have had some sort of an addiction issue here. Okay, I do feel like you might have been dealing with someone here who's incredibly codependent. Okay, um, I just feel like Scorpio, this is something that you didn't want to be a part of here because as soon as I feel like you saw those red flags, I feel like you just bolted out the door. Okay, two of pentacles here. We have the Hierophant here, Taurus energy, the ten of uh, pentacles, and the sun. I just feel like whoever this is, I feel like this person couldn't commit. Yeah, it just seems like this person had a hard time keeping their promises. Okay, you know, with the Sun card here, I do feel like this person saw you as their happiness. But I also feel like this tarot moment that happened was a blessing in disguise for you because I feel like the universe stepped in to rescue you from this like very toxic and unhealthy situation that could have unfolded here okay the uh knight of pentacles and the hangman piscean energy here the tower here and the seven of cups seems like this person had i just feel like someone here just definitely didn't acknowledge the explosion that they caused, uh, caused here. You know, I do feel like there were other options here with the Seven of Cups. Yeah, you could, have, you could have found out the truth here. You could have found out the truth in your dreams or in your sleep. Why did this person do this to Scorpio? Why did this person do this to Scorpio for January 2023? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Scorpio. Pisces energy with that hangman there. 
eight of wands here and wow this is so interesting because I, I've done eight of these already and I feel like a lot of people a lot of the signs that a lot of signs are we're de are dealing with liars and toxic people that because that devil card keeps coming out too we have the page of swords and the king of cups cancer scorpio pisces And then we have the King of Wands here and the Four of Cups. I feel like the per the reason why that this person behaved this way, I feel like this person got bored really e easily. You know, I feel like this is the type of a person that behaved poorly because they were looking for some sort of attention. Even if it was bad attention, I feel like this person was looking for it. I just feel like this person with the Eight of Wands here and the Seven of Swords, this person in the Page of Swords, this person told a lot of lies. Now, let's say like this person was doing all this crazy stuff to you. This person would actually flip the script, run around, tell people that you were doing it. Eight of Wands, Ten of Cups, Seven of Swords, and the Knight of Pentacles. This person, you know, one of the things I'm getting is that this person broke their promises and I feel like this person is not even remorseful about it. That's the sucky part. King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. King uh, Page of Swords, the Five of Swords, King of uh, Cups, and the Six of Wands. This person was so, is so stuck in their ego here, okay? This person played a lot of mind games here. The thing is, I, I, I feel like with the Five of Swords here, you know, I feel like this person ended up losing a really great person here, you know? Uh, so the uh, King of Wands and the Nine of Pentacles, the Four of Cups here, and the King of Pentacles. I think we have all four kings. King of, Pen king of Wands, King of Pentacles, King of Cups. Oh no, we're missing the King of Swords. You know, I'm get, what I'm getting here, you know, regarding this person, this is the definition of toxic masculinity here, okay? You know, I just feel like this person was selfish. Yeah, this person was, you know, got bored, just was bored, and they just feel like this person just wanted to stir up shit, cause drama here, okay? So, um... So Scorpio, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it, if it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video. Uh, if you haven't done so yet, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. All right, thanks guys. Bye.